Hello there, my name is Warren. Today we're going to be looking at the Huawei B525. Now, this is the router we're currently providing to our customers for our LTE connections. And we're going to be looking at popping the SIM card in and switching this router on so that we can see what the lights look like and what they actually indicate to us. And then we'll look at logging into the router and applying some of the settings that we need to apply. So, without further ado, let's have a quick look at our router here. So on the front section of the router, we're going to find the LEDs that indicate to us what the router currently is processing. So at the moment, we're going to be looking at the power LED, we've got the mode LED, wireless signal LED, the LAN signal LED, and the mobile signal LEDs. So the mobile signal LED indicates to us um, the, the signal strength that your router is currently um, getting. Um, bad signal strength will be indicated by one or two LEDs, whereas we'd like to be anywhere from three and above. So let's just check the back. So on the back section of the router, you're going to find um, your different ports. So specifically, we're going to find power. We're also going to find the different LAN ports. Um, so And then we've got USB for storage and then the telephone and the reset button. So that reset button is going to be for resetting your router to its factory default settings. On the top section, we've got the power and WPS buttons. So power is for obviously switching the router on and the WPS is for connecting any devices like wireless extenders and such. Also on the back of the router, I'm going to try and pop this off as neatly as possible. Okay, it should come off now. There we go. So here we have the section where external antennas are going to be connected up. Now, with regards to this one, you want to make sure that once you've connected up your external antenna, that you actually log on to your router and set the router to connect using the external antennas on the router's interface. So let's cover that back up. And now we're going to have a look on the bottom section. So on the bottom section of the router, we're going to find all the valuable information on the router we're dealing with, the model number, the default SSID or Wi-Fi network name, uh, the password for the SSID, which is listed as the Wi-Fi key, and the IP address. That IP address is going to be used to log into your router using your internet browser once you've got a device connected to this router. And then you'll see the password, the username and password for logging into your router as well. Now in the section on the side over here, we're going to have the SIM card tray where we're going to slide our SIM card in. So I'm just going to try and pop that cover off, try to do it also as, there we go, that's actually quite decent. Um, there we go. I expected that to pop right off. Anyways, so on here we are going to see the sticker that indicates to us what type of SIM card it is that we're going to be inserting. So when we refer to what type of SIM, we're referring to the SIM card size. So you'll get your, your standard SIM card that you see on the, on the left section of that sticker. You'll also see the micro SIM, which is the one we're going to be using. And then there's the nano SIM size. Now for this one, you'll have to refer to the cutouts on, your, um, on the SIM card that is being supplied to you by the ISP. And I'll leave a little diagram to show you exactly what it is that we are talking about. So that being said, there we see our SIM card slot. And that little sticker also indicates to us what side the cutoff corner has to go in. So I'm going to grab the router here and we're going to have a look at our SIM card. And based on our sticker information, that's how we're going to be popping our SIM card in. So let me just pop that in right there. And you're normally going to hear a little click and that's when the SIM card has been grabbed by the router. That hasn't been grabbed. There we go. So now the SIM card's been grabbed by the router. We're going to pop our little cover back on. And we're now going to power up our router. Plugging in power here. And we're going to plug power in on the back. So that's where your power cable is going to go in. The router by default is going to go through its boot up process. As you can see, the, the lights on the router as well. 
okay so now we're checking we're waiting for the lights on the router to actually boot up and um, once that's um, gone through its boot up process we'll then be able to see what's actually happening now things to take note of let's just um, zoom back out there and bring the router straight up to us now on here we're going to see a few things the power light is going to be a solid white light the um, light next to power which is this one over here is going to show indicate to us whether or not we have internet access now we want that light to be a cyan or light blue color so the fact that it's dark blue at the moment indicates to us that the router might not be configured for the sim card yet so we're going to have to log into the sim card and apply one or two settings then we've got the wireless light or wireless led next to the mode light that indicates that the router is broadcasting a wireless signal and then we've also got the um, the LAN indicator, which at the moment is not going to be on, and we can also see signal strength here on the, on the side. Now, what we're going to do is, I'm just going to pop that back down. Uh, we're now going to get a LAN cable so that we can plug it into our router and then plug it into our um, PC or laptop. And once you've got those two connected up, we're then going to look at logging into the router um, to see if we can connect. So. Let's have a quick look here. So I've got my, my nifty LAN cable, which I'm going to use in my instance. Normally you get a yellow LAN cable with your router as well. So I'm gonna pop in LAN cable, any LAN socket on the back will be fine. Turn that back around. And then now what we're going to do is on my laptop, I'm going to also plug in the same, um, well, I'm gonna plug the LAN cable into my laptop that I've got chilling at the back over here. Okay, so now let's go to my laptop and on the side where my Ethernet port is, I'm going to slide that cable in and we now should be able to log on to my router using the information that's being supplied on the bottom here. So in order to log into your router, you're going to use that uh, that IP, that 192.168.8.1 IP, and you're going to type in the username as the word admin and the password as admin as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get onto the router and see what our connection looks like.